Hey guys, it's your boy JR Review, aka Senpai JD, and I'm back with my guy Mega Fan Boss with another Destiny of Bubbles. Today it's gonna be the Shrap Music of Bubbles. You wanna know why? We're going back to my roots of my channel where I was just reviewing um you know movies and shows and doing complete TV shows review complete TV shows reviews, complete series reviews, and today that's what I'm bringing you a one is a complete series review of let me just bring it out real quick. The Saw franchise or the Saw series. Um, as you know, um, this is technically an honor, not an honor, as well of the uh, of next week's um, drop of the new soft. I guess what would it be considered? It's technically, part, part of the soft is part of the Saw series. Um, the Saw, um, it's called the Spiral of the Book of Saw. From the Book of Saw, which I'm guessing is like spirals, like one of it's gonna be. I'm not trying to spoil anything here. I'm missing it's either going to be a copycat killer or one of his um, spas, uh, saws, by not spas, saws, uh, um, what's called apprentices, or like, you know, people that, that, that he took under his wing. But, anyways, I'm trying to give you my overview of the original of all the saw films. Well, first of all, let me just say, saw, when I first saw saw, I was like, eh, no. I was 12. When I first saw the original saw, I was 12 years old. I saw it on. A website on a on-demand service that was also a streaming service and a TV channel called Fearnet. I had watched the first three films, and no, the four films on there. And one thing I can say about Saw is that it definitely was a product of like it created a lot of buzz that it needed to do when it first came out. It created copycat movies like Hostel, which I actually did enjoy a little bit less, to, or, except now I like Saw because you know I would say. Saw didn't need to cut off someone's junk for it to be a good movie series. Hostel went too far in that scenario where they cut off someone's junk. I'm sorry. Yeah. No matter. It's, I know it's torture porn, but I, I just remember not being. I watched that. I didn't watch that in theaters. I watched that in my house. And I was eating at the time. When I saw someone's junk getting cut off, I was like, oh, okay. My, my stomach is not. I'm not really hungry anymore. You know? Um, which pissed me off because I like to eat, so, and I like to eat while I watch movies, definitely. So, anyways, but Saw never made me, like, sick in my stomach, honestly. Like, I'm here for him both to said it. Um, you've seen him, you've heard his voice in the chat, in the, among this chat, which I have more videos to do. I just, so, one of them is so long, it's going to be hard to edit, and just be so long to do, but, um, edit for it. But, um, my boy Chris and I both said, you know, Saw is pretty easy to get past. Like, after you watch the first two movies, by the third movie, you're just numb to the gore and shit that's going on. You don't even care. Actually, if you actually go along with it, you're actually rooting for the Saw to kill the bad people. Because you know what? I'll say it. Saw isn't really a serial killer. He's more of a, um... In a better way, a better social justice warrior than most social justice warriors out there that are out there really today. He only targets assholes who, who are complete fucking assholes. Like, you know, hypocrites, people who don't value their life when they, when they should value their life. Drug addicts, um, corrupt people, corrupt politicians, corrupt cops, a bunch of things. Um, and now let's, now let me go into the first movie. The first movie, I honestly, to this day, I, I don't hate. I never particularly enjoyed the first movie watching it when I first, when I first watched it. I didn't get scared of it. I, didn't, I, was, I just didn't hate it. Just like, it was, it was, eh, it was bad to me. So if I had to rate the first movie, I would say um, I give it a six out of ten. Um, the second movie for me personally, um, I never hated. It. Actually, I like the second movie. Uh, I like the whole entire idea of the the Croft cop being the one trying to find it. I also like how they when they capture try to capture Jigsaw in that scene. And number two, there's a great line where he calls, he's called a serial killer by the, a group of cops in quest by the corrupt, go by the corrupt cop, who's trying, whose son's actually in one of the games that's going on at the moment, at the time. And he's, and he says, no, 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 I despise serial killers. I am not a serial killer. Which, technically you are Jigsaw, technically you aren't. I hate, I hate to agree, I hate to, to say it, but technically you are, but technically you aren't at the same time. I mean, I can see what you're trying to do, but the way you're going about it is technically you're murdering people. But 
Again, technically, he's not more unbeatable because if they wanted to live, they wouldn't be in the game. Like, he, he doesn't make the games unwinnable. They are winnable. It's just they're very fucked up games. Um, Saw 3. Honestly, God, I hate Amanda. I fucking hate her. Um, her, her views on that everyone's able, not everyone's able to, you know, change. That's not true. People can change. People can be redeemed. It's if they want to redeem themselves or want to change it as soon as they, if they do. Then they can't. Then they will. But if they don't, they don't, and that's why they they will die in the game. Like I'm not gonna be. Uh, no, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't ever see myself ever ending up in one of these games. I'm not that per type of person. I'm not an ass. I'm not. Well, I am an asshole, but I'm not like so much of an asshole that I would be want myself in the game in that game scenario in that scenario or one of these games. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a douche. I, I just wouldn't be ending up in one of these games. Anyway, I saw four. Um. Honestly, I forgot what Saw 4 was even fucking about. I know in the end of Saw 3, he dies. I know that, for sure. And I just love how they, they definitely um pinned up the entire thing in Saw 3, where it was a multi-game going on. Um, but the, the, the two people were connected. The, 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 the wife, the woman that was trying to keep him alive was the wife. And the other one was trying to keep him because going around other things was killing him, people, was the husband. And at the end of the day, I will give it to the um, husband. He should have killed. He had the right to kill that man. Um, the guy, the guy who killed her, his son. He had accident. He he was he was drunk and he avoided prison time. I'm sorry. He killed your son and you avoid prison time. He deserves to die. He needs some kind of punishment, buddy. Sorry. Um, saw five. Honestly. I love Saw 5. I have nothing against Saw 5. But, as you notice, I haven't given you my favorite death scene or game yet. And that's because my favorite trap, I will tell you, is the reverse bear trap. My favorite trap of all time. And the rat, which you see in 3. Um, and I believe the... There's one where it's connected to your ribcage. That's also what I like. But I forgot what that one was called. I know it's not the reverse bear trap, but I, I like that one too. But the one my favorite game ever played is, I think, in Saw 7, when they become either Saw 5, Five or Saw Seven. I don't know which one the game. I don't remember which ones the games become like like in public and for public view. But it's the first public view game, and it's in like a. Um, it's these two bo man men and this woman who were being played against each other for um. These women playing them against each other. She's basically a gold digger slash kind of a two tummy uh bitch. Um, two tummy bitch. bitch. And she's playing them to try to kill each other. He's like, oh, please, let me go. Kill him. I'm begging you. Kill him. And then he's like, but and one, 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 one wins, right? The other one's the other one's about to win. She's like, kill him. Kill him. I always loved you. I loved you. loved you more. I hated his ass. And, and, then she, and he's like, you know what? Fuck you. As the other one says that. And he's like, you know what? He's like, right, right, dude. He says his name. I think his name was James. Like, James, James. Listen, buddy. Fuck her, she ain't worth it. She ain't worth this, us killing, killing each other over it. It's like, and he's like, you're right. And she just, they put the, basically the, the game contraption was for, for them, was they had like a, like a saw, that, and it was like, like you would push it, and it would either hit, hit, hit the person on this end, or the other end, and they push it that way. But they come in the middle, and the time ran out, I think they had like a minute or so, um, it would her she would be lowered onto onto the saw and that would be it. Um which they end up going uh you know they, they end up going back and says, What are you doing? Save me. What are you doing, you assholes? Says, We're breaking up with you, you, Crystal. And I was like, I'm I'm sorry. The way he said it too. We're breaking up with you, Crystal. That's what a fuck that's what a fucking breakup that is, right? And then he's like she starts crying. Help me as the person, as the thing like that. I'm like, I'm sorry, that girl gets what she deserves in the end. You know, you're a two-timing bitch, first of all. You're playing too many against each other. And when one was winning, you were like, ten seconds ago, you were like, kill him, kill him. And then when the other one starts to win, you're like, no, I always loved you, not kill his ass. Bitch, no, get your priorities. Good. No, you need to die, athlete. You're, you're done. The thought needs to go. The thought needs to die. Sorry. And game over. Um, that's my favorite death scene. I, I'm sorry. It's the I think it's the funniest one too. I think it's the only death scene I've ever laughed my ass off. 
And I, because I honestly agreed with the decision that the guy has made. Yeah, you need to die. I'm sorry, you're done. It's over. Um, Jigsaw, I wrote, honestly, then Saw 6, I honestly didn't hate Saw 6. Saw 6, again, none of these were actually scary. Like, none of the Saw films are scary. I've never gotten scared by Saw once. I, I got um, the, the gross out a little bit, for sure. But I ever gotten scared? Nah. Only time I've ever got scared was when I played the Saw games. The Saw games are actually scary. Like the video game series, that one was still shit was scary, bro. Those were actually scary. Because you never knew like what was in like going into your like um you were going into it at each, each level. Each level could have had a fucked up scenario like fucked up simulation for you. Um but the, for me personally, I think Jaws, my favorite ones were Saw Six, three um three, four, two. Uh, oh, uh, Saw 7. Um, I really like those. And you know, I always we didn't get to see the bear trap until it's used the reverse bear trap, which is my favorite contraption of all time. Until it's used on, oh, what's your name? Saw's uh, wife. My uh, one of his, his uh, um, apprentices. The, the fucking corrupt off the other cop, the other cop, the one of the cops. Which, by the way, Fucking, like, I was so happy to see how it worked, finally. Um, did you see in the first movie, Amanda's, that's Amanda's original trap, is the reverse bear trap. And I was like, when it, like, and I'm like, okay, I wonder how this thing works. And it basically just ripped over your own mind. I was like, damn, bro, what the, f yo, I was, I, I think I clapped a little bit, I was like, okay, yeah, that was, that was worth the wait. That was a worth the wait scene, okay, I'll admit that. That was a worth the wait scene. Jigsaw, though, the movie Jigsaw. I didn't hate it. Um, I honestly like that Jigsaw showed us the um back, you know, the backstory or the first games that Jigsaw ever done. And honestly, I also like the fact that it also shows us uh, a man whose baby was mur murdered by his wife. He's blamed for the murder, goes to jail, ends up killing himself, and then she's the one who ends up getting ki um put in the games and ends up dying for her being an asshole, basically being a bitch. Being a fucking bitch, she gets she gets to come to her. And you know, that's what I like about Saw. She, Saw goes after the people who deserve to get all, go after her. The fucking assholes. Why do people that need to die? I'm sorry, you just... The people who are just like the scum of society who don't... Who take... Who do the worst thing. The only thing I'm going to say is, um, the guy from number one saw, um, the guy who was making his living on, like, what's called? Fucking taking photos of rich and powerful people having affairs. Yeah, um... Not so much thinking he needed to die. I mean, yeah, again, he's just trying to make a living and provide for himself to eat and sit, but I think a strong or a letter could have done the job better or, you know, something like that. I don't know, probably scaring him, but not killing him like they, oh no, did he kill him? No. In the end, he didn't kill him. In the end of the movie, he didn't kill him. Because I remember correctly, oh, no, he did no, in the end of the movie, he doesn't kill him, if I remember correctly. Because. Well, he, he does die, though, doesn't he? I, I think it was. I think I'm getting confused because I remember in 3, it's revealed that Jigsaw saves the guy from 2, the, the father cop, who was against Amanda the entire time. And Amanda thought he could never change. Which, honest to God, bro, you need to. F she needs to chill, motherfucker. She needs to fucking chill. Um. Bro, but I just, I just love the, f I just love Saw so much, and I can't wait to go see Spiral, the Book of Saw, from the Book of Saw. It's just real. It looks really cool. I like the they changed the pop around this time. I like he has a new like a monogram, like the original. Like so, I'm guessing the Spiral is actually coming from like the uh, spirals on his on his on the Saw puppet's cheek. I forgot the guy's name. I think it was like Buddy. Was it Buddy? Yeah, the saw puppets, the actual puppet's name is, no, I think it's Buddy or something like that. I, I forgot. I legit forgot. But I love Saw, um, saw series in general. If I have to write the series, again, like I said for Saw, the saw like I said for Final Nation, which I, I think has been deleted, which I'll redo it again at one point. Um, Final Nation films series, uh, complete series for you. There's never a dull, like a very bad Saw film. Like, it's never really bad and just boring or you don't care. Because there's been so many of them at that point. And that's what I'll say about that. It's not either, it's not bad, it's just you don't care at some points. And you're like, okay. 
But I wouldn't say that's a bad movie. And the movies are still great. They're still like I, I can not care and still take enjoyment in the film. Like that's for me. Like, I can still take enjoyment in the film. So that's why I'm gonna give Saw an eight out of ten for a series. It's not perfect by any means. Believe me, it is not perfect. It's not a perfect series. It has its flaws. Um, but I would definitely say it's there's not really a it's not there's not really a bad film a bad film series when you get down to it. Um, it definitely builds it really. Like I said before, it really helps you de um, someone deal with the gore problems. So if you have a problem with blood, if you watch this series, I'm pretty sure if you don't fight every single five every single minute, sooner or later you're gonna get your fear of blood taken away. Get, um, get rid of your fear of blood because you're going to be seeing a lot of blood. <laughs> a lot of fucked up shit, but trust me, you sooner or later you're going to get your thing taken away. I also like the, the scenes where um, another favorite scene in the Saw series, I forgot which one it was. I think it was Saw 4. I could be wrong. It's Saw 4 or Saw 5. Where um, there's two of them. One is a guy who's been creating a, uh, he creates a support group for Saw victims and claims that he was a Saw victim himself and how his trap went. And he actually goes into a game, and his, his final trap to, to save his wife is the same trap that he said, he, supposedly, he said was he was in, and he ends up fucking failing. failing. And it was like, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I laughed at that one, so I'm like, okay, bro, you, you kind of deserve that one. You you basically were profiting off of, off of people who were victims and saying that you were a victim when you weren't a victim. And now you're going to be a victim, technically, if you fail the game. And his trap was basically he had to like press a button or while well, well, hooks were digging into his back or something. I forgot what she was like in a furnace. And then the other one is this guy who basically was ripped into ripped insurance people. Like he would deny insurance people for like smoking this and this and that and all that. And he was like a complete asshole. And one of my favorite moments with him is when it's his like a bunch of his work partners or people that he works with and he's on a merry go round, right? And there's a shotgun, and he has to press the bu a button to save somebody before they get in game shot. He has to press the button, I think, four, four times or five times. I think it was four times really easy. And he saves a total. There's only one dude, and like, the rest are all hot females, okay? He saves all the fucking girls, like, most of all the girls. And when he saves them all, like, even as ugly as it is, like, he saves them. And the way he has to do it is he has to press the button. In like a tr and then he and he presses the button, a metal pro prong or something, a uh, poker with sharp poker will go into his finger, like a hand like this, and like dig into his like bone or whatever, or dig into his, like go into his skin. And it's like a cow prod, but not a cow prod. And it fucking, like it looks like it would hurt. It does hurt probably. And I'm gonna say this now. That guy who gets, who, uh, who yells at, who, um, who doesn't get saved in that morgue round of shotguns, Deserved that moment. Oh, you're gonna save all the bitches? He legit. I think he says he says all the bitches. You know what, man? Fuck you. <laughs> like right after he says fuck you, he gets shot. I mean, dude, that fuck you was warranted. And I, it takes him. And I, for me personally, if it gives if it gives him, me him any solace in the afterlife, he ends up being probably gonna meet him in um, their tomb because he ends up dying at the end, and all the girls that he ends up joining with never um, help him out the rest of the game. They all fucking fail and end up dying. Um, where I'm telling you right now, if you probably would have joined another dude, you would have a better chance. Just like. Um, anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you all guys liked it. And, um, please like, please, I hope you all this, that's it, sorry. Fuck me! It's all for this video. Hope you all liked, you liked it. Thank you for all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe, remember, it's free. And I get, I want to take it to 250. We're at 232, guys. That's, what is it? 20 not 28 more 28 more subs and i'm at 250 28 more subs and at 250 please just give me the 250 all i'm asking 250 and i get to do that giveaway you get some manga okay you, the three first first three people to comment on my video get um my, my giveaway video get three but, get um manga first three people comment that's all i gotta say you get free shit i get 250 subs that's all you need 250 subs free shit like, comment, subscribe, don't forget, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. 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 I said, eh, eh. I said, eh, eh, eh.
first, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I got booty girls riding on my dick like a horse. Burn fake muds, I'm fake muds. These people can't stop me. 2D girls fucking be sent by new hobby. Pull the pants to rock the shit. Be a wife who I'm the king of this shit. Wife who's rocking from the nation just to come hear me spit. Got the 2D game unlocked. If you ain't about this shit.